You can now easily define dashed and dotted lines with a variety of stroke options in Adobe XD. Let's take a closer look at this feature in action. I'm here in the application and I'm going to begin by designing some native shapes here on the design canvas. I'll start with the line tool and I'm just going to press and drag a line. I'm going to use keyboard commands here and switch to the rectangle tool. I'll quickly come in and constrain this and draw a nice square. I'll change to the ellipse tool and I'll go ahead and create a nice circle. Next up, I'll come in and move these objects down a little bit so I have just a bit more space. And I'm going to select that line tool. Notice in the appearance panel, in addition to being able to define the border width, I now have the ability to define a dash and a gap. So I'll change this size for the border to about 10 pixels. When I hit the tab key, I can come in and define a dash of let's say 10. And when I hit tab again, notice XD is going to automatically set the gap to match the dash. I can always override that and decide that a gap of 12 pixels makes more sense. From here, I can easily copy and paste these attributes to other native objects on the canvas. So I'll just right click and select copy. And I can come to the circle, for example, and paste that appearance to that object. If from here I decide I want a different appearance, I can leverage that starting point and just make some changes. Let's say I want more of a dashed line that has rounded edges. I can come into the butt settings and set the second one or the rounded cap option. And I'll go into the gap value and using a keyboard here, I'm just going to bump that up until I get nice spacing between my individual items. Alternatively, if I want a line that's more of a dot and less of a dash, I'll come in and duplicate this first instance. And with the second instance selected, I'll come over to the Appearance panel, and I'm going to select the round cap again. In the Size field, I want to get dots, so I'm going to give a little more space and size to that. I'm going to change my size to 8. I'll do a small dash and a gap of more like 16 pixels. And when I hit Tab, it spaces out nicely. Now, if you're used to more complex gap and dash patterns, you can copy and paste more complex designs from Adobe Illustrator. To do that, I'll switch over to Illustrator. And I'm going to come in and select a more complicated dash and gap pattern. Notice that I've got four different attributes here for dash, gap, and then dash and gap. I'll copy it to the clipboard, come back over to XD. I'm going to paste it on the canvas, and I'll move it over to the side. I'll right click on that object to copy it to the clipboard once again, and I'll select a native object and then just paste the appearance to apply that more complex pattern to a native object. I encourage you to give this new enhanced functionality a try.